Hey guys! So, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to make one of these little head trackers for a 3 off headset. Remember? <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you how to make, take that same head tracker and make it USB compatible for our banks. So let's get to it. Okay, so what you'll need for this is you're going to need your little tracker you made um, for your project. So, in this case, I have my little tracker. Lights up. As you see, the battery, the, the light's really dim, and that's just because of the battery power. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, and what we're going to do first is take this back off here. Take a little screwdriver like this, and right here on this side, you're just going to pry that open like that comes off easy enough and then you're just gonna take the battery set those aside and then you'll be left with a positive and negative lead here now as you can see the way it orientated our light side is this side our buttons on this side so if you look positive and negative leads we're also going to want to take this little guy here off and you should just be able to pull pull outward on one of them. <laughs> there you go. And that comes off pretty easy. And then what I like to do is um, take a piece of black, the black tape and just put that there. And there you go. Oh. So um, we need a USB cable to be able to plug into our power bank here and um, that way we get power to it. As you can see, I don't have a tip on my soldering iron. <laughs> I literally, the tip that I had on here was completely just, just bleh. So, um, unfortunately, I would not suggest doing this at home. If you are doing this at home, make sure you have parents supervision if you're doing this and you're a kid. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't have a tip for this, so we're gonna be using this. Um, so I have a donor cable, USB cable. Now, it can be any USB cable, um, and what we need to do is strip, cut and strip off the end. Now as you can see I've already cut the end off on this one and I'm just going to cut this flush and I'm going to come back just a little bit here and just kind of rotate around until it's nice and so I can get and I'll just pull that off. See how I did that? Now the ones in here that we're going to need to use are the red and the black. Now different USB cables actually have different um, wires sometimes. Most of the time on USBs, now I think this was from a phone charger, like a micro USB phone charger, I don't remember, but most USBs have a black and red and that's the 5 volt um, rail of the, well, that's, or, or, it's the 5 volt rail. <laughs> that is basically normally referred to. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the other two off. That was a blue and a white one. And then we're just gonna strip these. Now, I don't know if I have strong enough nails to do this. Apparently I do, so. There you go, strip those off. I don't have a wire stripper. <laughs> and we're just gonna twist these nice and neat. Now, if you don't have a soldering iron, you don't have to solder this. But I'm going to warn you, it won't work very well without it. Now before we actually put this in here, we're going to want to make a groove on this side of the thing. See this right here? We're going to basically want to cut that out, sort of. Okay. And you're going to need some sort of tool for this. So um, like I said, we're going to be wanting to take material out here. Now I have these little files here. And it just so happens that I have a little round file. That's what we're gonna wanna use. And I'm just gonna, let's see here. Which side should I do this on? Uh, probably the side away from We'll do it here. There we go. Get them making a mess all over my desk. 
And basically, we're just wanting to go underneath that. Like that. And we made a little groove here, as you can see. Now, if you don't have a file like this, you could um, take a coat hanger and heat it up, heat the, heat a, you know, cut it off, heat the end up, and then just kind of press it in there. But again, be careful, or maybe if you do have a <laughs> soldering iron with a tip, you can just kind of roll that in there too. Um, but if you do have a little file, these files aren't much. I think I spent five dollars on a set, and you could use them for anything. So, but if you're a computer nerd or somebody like me, you'll have this stuff. So, okay, next thing we're gonna want to do is take our little oh uh, our wires and you see these little metal contacts in here so basically we want to twist this up and we're going to take it and we're going to there we go Yeah, you get the raw footage sometimes uh, because this is a cooking show. <laughs> sometimes it is. <laughs> but you want to kind of get as much contact as you can. Um, unless, obviously, so we have one there. Pretty tight. And then we want to do the other side here, the negative side. Again, positive, positive, goes positive, negative, goes negative. And uh, try to get as much contact as you can um, because you want to make sure that this is going to work. And I will just do this so make sure that's going to work. So try to get it where it's going to be. And see this, see this is kind of not cooperating here, so we want to kind of get that underneath there. Is our little screwdriver here? Come on. Being kind of stubborn, isn't it? <laughs> right. Okay, we got it. Oh, oh. Okay, Mr. Tape, we're gonna tape you to the tape. What do you think about that, huh? There we go. All right. So once you do that, what we want to do is make sure it works. So grab your little power bank. It may not be perfect, but uh, plug it in. And then underneath, turn the power on. As you can see, that sucker lit up. That's exactly what we want. So now we can turn that off and plug this. Um, now that we know it works. Uh oh, things going loose. We don't want that to happen. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to redo this red side here. You hear a hum in the background? That's because my air conditioner is on. Now we don't have to do this super perfect. It's got to be a good connection. Which this thing is being super stubborn. You have four sips. You get these things. These things. These are four sips. You get these at Harbor Freight for like a buck or two. So now that is not a very good connection at all. I mean that that'll just fail very quickly. So we're gonna kind of pull it around here. Basically, we, again, we want as much connection on both little springs as possible. All right, now well, we got that, we're gonna take our solder. Now, I'm not the best soldering guy in the world, no. And we're just gonna solder. Basically, we wanna put a big old glob of solder right there in that. It's where it doesn't move. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side.
Looks like that one took it better. <laughs> Funny enough, the soldering iron still works without the tip. Okay, once you've um, gotten to this point and we have the solder, we want to test it again to make sure we didn't fry it. Um, but if we fried it, that sucks. Plug it in, turn it on. As you can see, we have good solid lights. Okay, once we know that everything's good, we're going to want to take our cable here. And the first thing we want to do is put down the screw. Well, actually, before we do that, we want to take some our hot glue gun. Now, if you made one of these already, you should have a hot glue gun already. And we're just going to put some hot glue kind of in this little groove here. And put the USB cable right down in it. And just kind of hold it there until it dries. Once we've done this, we actually want to glob the hot glue over these connections. Um, the reason is it does protect it. We're going to put it all over the place. Just kind of glob it everywhere. Now once you've done that, before it dries, take this metal thing off first, before you do that, and just slap this thing on there. There you go. Nice and awesome looking. Of course, you're going to want to put your. Oops. <laughs> you're going to want to put your, your little thing back on like that. And then, make sure everything worked right. Boom, there's your light. And there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This thing is awesome because, I mean, you could take, a, you know, the $5 head track we made, a donor USB cable. I mean, as long as it's USB and it has a 5 volt um, input on it, it should work. And then one of these $5, I think these are $5 or $10 um, uh, power banks. Either this one is pocket juice. I'll leave a link down in the description for it. Um, but yeah, for just a couple more dollars, you can definitely make it USB compatible. So you can just keep recharging that power bank and you can go for hours and hours and hours and hours on your VR experiences with the PS Move service using that head tracking option. And it's awesome. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.